Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Worship Together Across the Diocese. And today I'm going to be talking about harvest and celebrating all of God's good gifts to us. So as it was such a beautiful sunny day, I thought I would begin outside because what a great location to shout God is King of Creation all the time. Amen. So behind me here is a reservoir and it's a source of water that gets sent down pipes and into our homes and it's a good place to come and think about how God provides fresh clean water for us. Behind me was the reservoir. In front of me is this farm, surrounded by all the farmland. Let's think about the farmers who work so hard all year round, through all weathers, so that we can have dairy products and meat and grain. I wonder how many things you've already eaten today that originally came from a farm before they arrived on the supermarket shelves. As I've continued my walk along the path around the reservoir, I've spotted these juicy blackberries. And it makes me think, wow, God provides for us, but he also provides for all his creatures, for the birds and the animals of the hedgerow. He provides nuts and fruits and seeds. Our God, the King of creation, caring for us all. Now I've just walked a little way along the reservoir and on the other side of the bank, I hope you can see them, there are some fishermen patiently waiting to catch fish. And although the fish they catch here are not fish to eat, it makes me think of the fishermen that go out to sea and risk their lives to catch seafood so we can enjoy fish and chips and tuna sandwiches, some of my favourites. I've now walked to the very top end of the reservoir and it's so quiet and peaceful. And look at the beautiful reflections and the ducks. This is one of my favourite places to come. And to look at God's creation and think, wow. I wonder where you like to go to look at all the incredible things that God has made. Such a beautiful place on a beautiful day. So we have now walked all the way around the reservoir and I really enjoyed showing you my special place and I hope that you've enjoyed this little trip outdoors and it's reminded you of how awesome God's creation is and how we can celebrate at harvest time all the good gifts that he provides for us, all those lovely different foods. I'm going to pop back home now to my study so I'll see you in a few moments and we're going to think about for a little while those people for whom harvest is a really really difficult time. See you in a moment. So here I am back in my study 
Some of you will recognise it from off the shelf videos that I shared with you during lockdown. And those of you who do recognise it will also think she still hasn't tidied up and you would be right. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to introduce you to a lady called Orbisa. And Orbisa lives in Ethiopia. And here she is with her children. She has nine children. And they live in a part of Ethiopia where it has not rained for years and years and years. It rains a little bit in August, but for the rest of the time, there is drought. And the only place where Obisa can get water is a long, long distance away from her home. And so she walks 10 hours every day to collect water. And she has to use that water for cooking, for drinking, uh, for cleaning, for her animals, for growing food. And you can imagine that she can't carry enough for all of that. And so very often her children will go to bed thirsty. Now we've just been outside by the reservoir. And I said straight away that that reservoir is a source of water that goes in our pipes and we just turn on the tap and there is fresh water gushing out. What a great blessing that is to us. And when you hear stories like Orbisa's story, I just think, oh, she just should have a tap like ours. Well, this year, the Bishop's Harvest Appeal is hoping to achieve just that. And on these pictures, you can see wells that have been dug and taps that have been built uh, in Ethiopia by a charity called Tear Fund. And Tear Fund brings life and transformation of life to people with fresh water and the love of Jesus. And then the crops will grow and the animals will thrive and the harvest will be good. And life won't be such a struggle for Orbisa and the people in communities like hers. So if you would like to help, then you can pop along to our website and the details are up there. Have a look at the film, have a look at the pictures. There's some challenging activities and there's some ways to pray. And it really does make you think about how fortunate we are and how God is awesome and the gifts he gave to us are for sharing. Let's pray together. Dear Creator God, thank you. Thank you for all your good gifts to us. We thank you at this harvest time for all the food and water that you provide. And we just pray now for projects like Tear Fund, that are helping to provide water in places where there is drought so that all your good gifts can be shared with everybody all around the world. We pray for your blessing on each and every one of us. Amen. Now, as we worship across the diocese every week, we pray for schools and churches in a different deanery and this week it's the turn of Kirkham Deanery so if you are in Kirkham Deanery this prayer is for you. Lord Jesus we ask for your blessing upon all of our church school family members in the deanery of Kirkham. 
and for all the churches there that they will build your kingdom and shine brightly with your love that they will know and feel your presence with them today and every day amen so we seem to have crammed all sorts of things into today's worship together across the diocese. We've been outside, we've been in my study, we've made a quick trip to Ethiopia. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.